lot of things done all at once, which doesn't always work. I am editing tonight's video's thumbnail. That's me hugging my new camera. And now I'm going to hit auto adjust. I'm using the app PicMonkey. Then I go, it's not an app, it's a software. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's a website. Then I add my geometric thing. That's what I do for every thumbnail. Stretch that across the bottom. There I am hugging it like a lunatic. Let's move that down a little bit. Fade it to 35%. There's no reason why I do this. This is just what I do for everyone. And then because, usually I would do white, but because it's Vlogtober, oops, nope, that's not the color I want. I'm going with orange. Is that the right orange? At least that looks not right to me. Yes, it is. So I have that, and then I go over to text, which takes forever to upload. Oh, and it's done. It's done compressing, so that's good. Yay, I can start uploading it. This is the behind the scenes. What goes on? We're going to schedule that, and let's do it. I'm also simultaneously, I don't know if you can see up there, editing or writing the vacation blog post. Okay, here we go. Uploading. Going to handbrake stuff. Where are you? Where's that would be October 6th. Click that puppy that pops up. I'm going to schedule it for today. It doesn't like that because it's already 930. And then I need to add the title and all that stuff. So it's only going to take 32 minutes to upload. That's pretty cool. Also, okay, so I'm going to type that in, but I can't hold the camera and, and peck away. I'm going to get my nails done for my brother's wedding. And I'm thinking I'm just going to go with the Orly Rage because I think the jewelry is rose gold. She's giving it to us this weekend to wear. And so nothing goes better. I love Orly Rage. Love it. I also have this Butter London one that is technically also rose gold. This one. But... I don't know. It doesn't really look great on my skin tone. I think it would look good on a more olive skin tone. I think I'm going to go with Orly Rage. And I got my second bottle of it already. And I got it 50% off, which makes me very happy. So, anyway. And I'm getting my hair done. Which I have to do right now. I'm going to be late. So I'm going to go do that. Hey guys, I'm getting my hair done. And this is the pre hair color yeah. shot. So, uh, thanks. This is how it Did you just, you did some, is it one? Oh, I wish it was that easy for me. Anyway, the headless and faceless Erica is draping me and fixing me. So that's how it looks without color and without me doing anything to it for three days. And let's see what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, highlights are in. Going on there. And now she's going to mix up the formula for the roots. I think she's already started on the roots, but she ran out. Oh, and back she comes. So this is uh, midway through the process. So I got my hair done. I got my nails done. And I just walked into the loft. Oops, my keys are in the way, sorry guys. I just walked into the loft because I'm still trying to find a cute top to wear. Although now that the weather apparently changed, it's only in the 50s in Chicago, so I could probably wear a sweater or something cute from last season, last year. I love the loft. I get so many of my clothes from the loft, but the loft that's particularly near my house, the villages of Stone Oak, for you loft people who are wa watching, I hate give. I hate spending money there because I have yet to, I go in at least once a month. I'm never greeted. They never say hello. They never acknowledge me. I slowly walk through the whole store, get nothing, and the um, employees are too busy talking to themselves to acknowledge the customers, and I'm just, so annoyed that I I just I have no words so not happy with what I've tried it over and over and over and it never changes so I am now at White House Black Market there's a sale and let's see what we can find So this is not showing up true to color, but it's raking green, so I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it, and don't worry, I'm going to wear 
uh, tank under our cami because this is a lot of boobage. Hello. A little inappropriate for our rehearsal dinner or really anywhere actually, but it's really comfy. Ooh, boobs. It's really comfy and I'm so excited. I can't wait to show it to you. The full outfit on Friday. So that was a rocking success. I picked out, they had a huge sale. I will link, I'll list it below because it's going to go out fast and you guys, this sweater is so soft and the color is gorgeous. It's this beautiful emerald forest green. And the necklace, the whole thing was $43. The necklace and, it's actually two necklaces. I'll show you when I get home. They're beautiful. Sorry, I'm eating a cinnamon Altoid. They're so good. But anyway, all in with a tax, 43 bucks. I couldn't do that good at Target. And the sales lady was so smooth and sweet and still managed to get in like a coordinating necklace that I had no intention of buying and yet I am walking out the door with the necklace. She did her job and she did it well. I made sure I told her manager. She was really, really helpful. Just, I told her what I was looking for. I handed her a shirt that I liked. She put it in the dressing room and when I got to the dressing room, there were two more similar shirts in my size plus the coordinating jewelry. Like that was just really nice touch. It's like she listened to me, you know? Anyway, so thank you White House Black Market for that lovely shopping experience. I will be back. I am at Barnes & Noble. I totally forgot I got interviewed for a Prevention Magazine article and thankfully a reader tweeted me and said, hey, did you know? And I didn't. I mean, I knew, but I forgot. But look, here I am. Here I am. Along with the hip chick online. Kim, I know, I don't know these two. I'm going to have to check them out. So that's pretty cool. I can't say that I, I did not recommend any of these products that they are recommending. I didn't personally name those, nor have I ever used any of them. But that's so cool, right? I don't know if that's going to get, like, if anyone's going to actually read this and want to go see me, but that's so cool. So I might have to buy a couple of these because I'm in print. That's pretty exciting. I don't know. I know it's, I, I'm excited. I just, I'm excited. Yay! So I attempted a new recipe. It's an eye of the round roast, which I think is overdone, but my kids have a phobia of pink. So there it is. I mean, I, I tasted it. It tastes fine, but I would prefer that it has some redness to it. And I will let you know, not red, that would be wrong, but pink. <laughs> but there's a gravy that goes with it. I think I'm gonna try to thicken up the juice because it's red wine and beef stock and onions and carrots. I'm just going to get the carrots out of here and put them in a bowl. And if the kids like, if everybody likes the recipe, I will, you know what, how am I going to get all the onions out? Nobody wants onions in their carrots, do they? They'll just pick them out. They can figure it out. Um, I'll link the recipe. I just Googled it. I found it on like Food Network or something. But next week I want to try at least one recipe from the Laura in the Kitchen. I want to make that marinara sauce. Who has made that marinara sauce? Because it looks pretty easy, actually, and pretty freaky. How, I mean, it's, of course it's yummy. It's marinara sauce. So, there's some good recipes in there. And I'm gonna just get back to straining my carrots. Alrighty, so, since this is a lot of behind the scenes stuff, it started this way. Here's how I took my Instagram picture. I needed a white background. You know what? The bathtub works. Yeah. Anyway, I wanted to show you the sweater I got from White House Black Market, maybe in better light. Hang on. Here's the dress. It's not coming up true to color even. It's it's coming in through my viewfinder. It looks more teal, but this is like this is green. This is straight up. See the green? Here, these are the same color, they are identical colors. But for reasons I don't understand, in the camera, they're not. And then this is the necklace, this is so cool. This is also green, and then it has this pretty necklace. And then how cool is this? I've seen Stella and Dot Jewelry do this. This, det whoops, it detaches at the top, and you can separate the necklaces into two separate necklaces! It's on sale for $19.99, in 1999, and it has the, I know, I know it's a big sweater, but it has some nice subtle detailing. It has ribbing here on the sleeves, and these darted, I mean, it's just, it's a very flattering, comfortable, cozy sweater. So I'm getting my stuff together for the big weekend. And I thought the clutch I would use with my bridesmaid's dress, this is the color of the dress, you've seen it. 
And then I'm wearing my Stuart Weitzman shoes, which are already in the box. And I'm going to use my, isn't that a pretty, that goes nicely. The nice thing about this bag, I forgot the name of the bag. I don't think it's available anymore. But the Celine Turner bag is that the strap can tuck in. I wish it would remove, but it tucks in and it makes a clutch. And it's a nice size clutch. I can get all my stuff in. Because I like having my stuff. I'm going to say goodnight and wash my face and go watch Modern Family and Blackish with Michael while the kids do homework. So I'll see you tomorrow. I think this is going to be a longer vlog. Sorry. Goodbye. I've been running around getting stuff. I got the mail. This came in the mail. Yes. I am so excited. I don't know Laura personally.